let's look at a uh, permutation of R objects taken from N different objects. Okay, so the permutation of R objects taken from N objects uh, without repetition is an arrangement of the object in specific order. Okay, for example, there are 12 permutations for the letter A, B, C, and D. Okay, taken two at a time. Okay, uh, so for the letters A, B, C, and D, we have 12 arrangements. Okay, for example, we have A, B, A, B, A, C, A, D, A, and so on. Okay, so that is the permutation of R objects taken from N objects. So we can use the multiplication principle. For example, uh, the number of permutation of four objects okay, taken two at a time is four times three. Eh? That means uh, it is two objects. Okay, we start with 4 times with 3. So the example is 12. And then if we have 10 objects, uh, we want to take 3 at a time. Uh, so we start with 10, 9, and 8. Okay, we have 3 objects. So the answer is 720. So we have a formula. Uh, the number of permutation of R objects chosen from N different objects is NPR. Okay, so NPR is equals to N factorial over n minus r factorial okay so let's look at example one uh, suppose you have four different flags how many different signal could you make using two flags or two or three flags okay so there are four flags okay so n is equals to four here okay and uh, for r the first one uh, we are going to calculate for number one eh? okay so when we want to arrange four flags or get uh, signals from two flags out of four flags we are going to calculate by using this formula okay 4p2 okay so you can use the formula you learned just now uh, which is n uh, pr equals to n factorial over n minus r factorial Okay, so this one is equals to 4 factorial over 4 minus 2 factorial. Okay, which is equals to 4 factorial over 2 factorial. Okay, so this one we can uh, calculate. So this one is equals to 4 factorial. Okay, so 4 factorial is equals to 4 times 3 times 2 factorial. Okay, we can stop there and then divide by 2 factorial. And then I'm going to cancel those 2 factorial. Okay, so what's left is we have 4 times 3 which is equals to 12. So we can fill in here, uh, R is 2. So there are 12 different signals using 2 flags from four flags and then for question two uh, two or three flags okay so when it is two flags okay uh, we can use this formula 4p2 uh, or means plus okay when it is three flags okay, we can calculate 4p3 okay so you can press your calculator to get the answer okay so 4p2 is 12 uh, plus with 4p3 is 24. So altogether, the answer will be 36. Okay, so there are 36 different signals uh, using two or three flags from four flags. Now let's move on to example two. How many arrangements of the letters of the word begin are there if three letters are used? All of the letters are used. Okay, so first we have to calculate in the word begin, uh, we have five letters. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so if you want to arrange three letters, okay, we are going to calculate 5P3. And then we are going to press the calculator to know the answer. 5P3 is equals to 60. And for number two, all of the letters are used. Okay, so we have five letters. We are going to use all of them. So we have 5P5. So 5P5 is equals to 120, okay? 
Okay, so that is example 2. Now let's look at example 3. A relay team has 5 members. How many ways can a coach arrange 4 of them to run a 4 by 100 meter race? Okay, so the order of the four runners is important. Okay, number of arrangements the coach can make is 5P4. We have 5 members and we want to choose 4 of them. Okay, we want to arrange 4 of them. Okay, because order is important, this is permutation, so we use P. Okay, so 5P4 is equals to 120.